Here to go. How's everyone doing? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, ho. Hey. Uh, hello, welcome. How many light years left, Cosper, in No Man's Sky? Uh, the same 168,000 because I promptly deleted the game from my PlayStation 4 and will never ever again. Yay! <laughs> that was my favorite part. I think they're yanking because the stream started. There's a delay. Oh. You recall the delay. I do. And the camera works. We ha we figured it out. Thank you, everyone, for sending me all the information. I, I got a, a deluge of tweets and emails. Apparently what happened was uh, one of those lovely and beloved forced Windows updates. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently they, they were trying to streamline the process in which webcams work and make it easier, but in doing so, fried like everyone's webcam. Yeah, yeah. Including our own. <clears throat> so our webcam got fried. Uh, not really fried, but it, it just stopped working. So we had to, had to go into, like, we had to hack the windows. Okay. It was very exciting, Rich. <laughs> you and me, we hacked it. <laughs> oh, right? yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking of a police quest here. Oh, sure. I'm sad. I'm very sad. You're sad? This is the last of Sunny Bonds. <gasps> but yeah, no, I had to go into my, I had to go into RegEdit. I had to edit my uh, registry. Yeah. Yeah. We hacked it. Which is scary. It's always scary editing your registry. Yeah. That's that's where you can fuck up everything. <laughs> you used to be able to just delete files from Windows, from the Windows folder, and yeah. that would fuck up your computer. They don't let you do that now because yeah. you don't have any control over your PC. Nope. Nope. I so wish I could switch to Linux. Stop I, making games for Windows. Let no, me switch to I, fucking I think Linux. you would have equal problems with Linux. It's, it's. I'd have control. I would have control. Yes, you would Linux. have control over your problems. Yes, <laughs> that's fine. I can solve my problems. You're solving your problems. We too. solved. We solved the webcam problem. Yeah. That's a way I'm, I think it's a horse apiece. We could solve the, the, the Linux problems and the side benefit of actually owning Linux. <laughs> The the point the moral of the story is uh, Life Hacker had a fix. We went to Life Hacker and they had a nice fix. So if your webcam is busted with Windows 10, go to Life Hacker right now and they have a little lifehacker.com. They have a little fix. Oh, honey, uh, Detective Sunny Bonds and then it's scrolling and, and his and wife. That's terrible. Marie are still on a honeymoon high from their wedding. If you Marie got a good job at the Oak Tree Mall and the two have a beautiful new home. Oh man, the story. This wonderful story. The epic tale of Sonny Bonds and his whore wife Marie. <laughs> as, for, as for me, I was promoted to detective sergeant with the Lytton Police Department. As the story opens, I've just finished the sergeant's training and am back on duty. Nice. Overburdened as the department is, I've been assigned a traffic division for a bit. Uh, Seems traffic's always understaffed. Traffic. I'm on traffic. It's a, it's a shame. Well, that's my life. And it's a good one. One worth protecting. Now it's time for me to assume the role of me, Sonny Bonds. I happen to know I'm in for a heck of a day because I have developed psychic powers since Police Quest 2, apparently. <laughs> or maybe not. Or maybe not. Future famous person says uh, Star Trek Beyond is a flop, financially speaking. That's that's sad. That is sad. Did Into Darkness kill the popularity? Yes, it did. Um, of the series. Yes, or it did. did. Maybe the return of Star. It was no. It was definitely Into Darkness. That movie sucked. Yeah. Into Darkness got people really upset. Well, they had they had the potential with the new universe, and then they yeah. they shat on it like, instantly. 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 I think everyone was more or less okay with the the reboot. We're like, ah, it's a little fun. It's not the Star Trek that yeah. I remember, but it's fun. It's all right. And then and then Into Darkness just took a big old turd on it. Yeah. Right out of the gate. Well, it was like they took one good step. They had a stride. They had a stride. And then instantly broke the horse. Instantly <laughs> broke its leg. <laughs> and then they had to come out and put it down. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly what happened. Uh, which, I mean, Beyond is really fun. That's a really fun movie. Yeah. So uh, that's that's too bad. Uh, gobbledygooks. No, wait. Yes, gobbledygooks. Uh, before Police Quest 3. Question. Uh, oh, question 3A. Uh, Deus Ex on Tuesday, no kill run. Rich? 
What? what? Apparently, is no. there a new Deus Ex game coming out? I'm not doing a Deus Ex and don't kill one anytime soon. Okay, great. That's not on my plan. Oh, oh, sorry. Three questions. Uh, oh, I, I think the question was just, are you going to play the new Deus Ex? I haven't played any of the Deus Exes, yeah, actually. Yeah. So, I just haven't. I, there's so many games. There's so, so many, many games. games. I haven't played them all. Uh, B, Contra. Oh, Gobbledygook's bringing up the controversy already. Black Mary Jane. Have you heard of this? I don't care. It's fine. Great. Yep, me too. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, for those who didn't hear, uh, they announced casting for the new Spider-Man. As long as she's a good actress, I... Yeah, and uh, they announced that uh, the Mary Jane character It'd be weird Spider- having a Mary Jane that's hey, not a redhead. Get, let me get the uh, exposition. That was, that was it, that was it. Let me get the exposition. You said it would be weird if she wasn't a redhead? Yeah. Eh, it's fine. Um... Spider-Man Homecoming movie announced casting for Mary Jane, and uh, it's going to be a black actress. I haven't seen anyone on the internet flip out about it. I have seen people claiming people are flipping out about it. But it doesn't really matter. I like the direction they're going with the new Spider-Man movie. It doesn't matter who, who the actress is. I, and we have... Well, the, the most important thing is getting Peter Parker right. Absolutely. By far. And it looks like they've gotten him right. And we don't even know if Mary Jane is going to be a love interest because Mary Jane Mary Jane wasn't a love interest until like three decades into the Spider-Man books. <laughs> so she could just be like a student, a peripheral character. She was a love interest. Huh? She was uh, the, the love uh, rival love interest. But not, not until like... There was issue- a Betty and Veronica thing going on with Gwen and Mary Jane. Not until issue like 120. <laughs> like... She didn't show up until late... 60. Issue 60 or so. 63? Is when they started teasing her. She didn't show up. She has an appearance in, like, issue 60-something. That's not That's not she Tiger, a, though. That's not... Yes, Tiger, you for the jackpot. It was one of the early... Was it was one 60? of the early Ramita Senior issues. Mm, I don't know about that. I gotta, I gotta relook that up. D- Ditko never drew her. Right. And the story I have heard... The story I have heard mm-hmm. is the reason... Ditko never drew her was Stanley didn't want him to draw Mary Jane because Mary Jane was supposed to be attractive. That was always going to be the bit. Mm-hmm. Like they teased, like the, the, the aunt wants to say, yeah, I said you up with the neighbor and yeah. oh, she's going to be oh, lonely. I don't, a, I don't want to go on she's that. She's such day. a nice personality. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the joke was going to be that she was pretty. Right. And what I've heard was Stanley didn't want Ditko to draw her because Ditko didn't draw attractive women. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good story. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. In any case, she wasn't necessarily the first love interest. Not no, she wasn't the first love interest. Not usually, you know. Wasn't Gwen either. Wasn't Gwen either. It was Betty Brand. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. It was um, who was the other one at at school? The Flash Thompson's girlfriend. No, no, she was never really. What was a love her interest? No, it was Betty Brand. Betty Brand was the first love interest. Was the first real love. Liz interest, Allen. Yeah. Liz That's Allen. That's her of. name. Yeah. Liz Allen was the first. No. He... No. 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 You have that so wrong. You are so wrong about that. Technically the first. No. Technically. Didn't say no. it right Yeah. Just because she was a girl and she was in the book didn't mean she was a love interest. <laughs> he pined. He There was pining. There was never pining there for was Liz pining Allen. For no. Liz Allen. Yeah. No. It's been a while. I have all the, I have all the, uh, the trades. I need to reread them. And any, the, po- the moral of the story is who cares who they cast as Mary Jane? We don't know who the story is going to be. It doesn't really matter if she's a good actress and does a good job in the movie, right? Yeah. That's the yeah. real moral of the story. So, anyway. I'm confusing Peter with myself. Maybe. Maybe I fell in love with Liz Allen and I wanted Peter to. That could be. She's hardly in the the, the old books before Betty know. Brandt shows up. I remember Betty Brandt. That was a big deal. Because Peter was, like, still very young and she was a classy older lady. She was the secretary. She should have been older. Yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I've heard a justification for that. Yeah. That she was a younger teenager working as a secretary because her mother was the old secretary and got ill. Oh. And J. Jo- J. Jonah Jameson knew that they needed family, needed the money. Sure. And let the teenage girl work there as a secretary. So nice. That's the justification I've heard for That's that. That's nice. Yeah. That would make, that, that would fit Betty Brandt was J. Jonah Jameson's secretary. Yeah. And Peter was 15 at the time. And Betty Brandt was his love interest. But, and of course, like, we say, like, love interest. These were 60s comic books, so, like, they talked about maybe holding hands. Well, they dated. <laughs> they dated. Oh, right. But, I mean, in the context of, like, love interest, you know, there's, like, 
It was all. It was also a pure and cutesy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we should probably. Oh, I know. You guys. Uh, oh, uh, the third part of Gobbledygooks is um. Is um. Chinese quantum satellite. Mm-hmm. Do you know this? No, I don't either. Sorry. Uh, thanks, guys. I remember DC Universe Online for the PS4. It's free. You fucks. Future Future J says, if No Man's Sky is in the Milky Way, our galaxy is about one hundred thousand light years across. Are you outside of the galaxy? No one gives a fuck. Yep. There we go. Thank you, Rich. Anonymous says, Rich and Jack, a warm greeting. Hello. The two most advanced beings in the entire universe. Where? I have two children, a boy with them, hoping to complete preparation to suck off the rectum. Bloody hell. Great. The Blue Blaze says, hi, guys. What's your opinion on Cinema Sins, a.k.a. everything's wrong with your movie channel? Would you consider doing a crossover with them for Space Cop? I haven't seen many. Actually, no, Cinema Sins, I don't think I've seen any of theirs. I, maybe one. I've seen maybe one video they've done. I saw one video they've done, too. Yeah, and I, I didn't much care for it. I I, I, I do movie stuff. Right. I don't need to watch any everything anybody does on YouTube. Right. They the the whole I I don't much care for their everything wrong with the movie because I feel it's mean spirited and like they they point they because because news at eleven pot calls kettle black because <laughs> there's no. They're, they're everything wrong with series. And like I said, I've only seen one of them. So, like, I this is a flash judgment based on, like, one of them that I've seen. Uh-huh. They're, it doesn't seem to be tongue-in-cheek, and it doesn't seem to be, like, jovial. Like, ah, oh, here's some fun mistakes in the movies, right? It, it just seems to be, like, this movie is bad because one time Superman was looking this way, and then they cut, and he was looking the other way, you know? Well, I mean, it's the, it depends on Are they actually saying it's bad, or are they just having fun right. looking at plot holes? Which is fun. It's something I enjoy doing. You Some, can do it with a movie you like, and it doesn't mean it's a bad movie. And like I said, I saw this one video, so I, my, it's a f- flash thing. And I've never, I've never felt the urge to watch more after watching that one video of theirs. The, the one, the one YouTube channel that's movie related that I've watched with any kind of regularity, yeah, be how it should have ended. And even, and even then, I'm not sub to them, but I, I like. I've seen a couple how of it those, ended. those cartoons. Yeah. yeah, those are fun. Those are definitely fun. I like those. All right, are we going to get to this, or you got a couple more to read quick? Uh, that was it. Now we're caught up on tips. Okay. Let's go. Wait, Sonny Bonds, please report to the brief. Sonny Bonds, please report to the briefing room. Where the fuck is the briefing room? Oh, God, it's a fucking point and click. That's right. We are no oh, longer God. typing. We are now pointing. That's the elevator button. That's the station's public address system. Well, they really put a whole bunch of effort into Police Quest 3, didn't they? Where's the funny fucking description that I can play around with? It just says, there's the public address system. Well, that's, that's a fun description. I can get a lot of comedy mileage out of that kind of dialogue. It's accurate and to the point, Rich. What are you looking for? That's the homicide hall's window. Oh, <laughs> great. When the, hmm, policeman blue. Huh? It's me, Sonny. <laughs> That's the elevator door. Well, I can't read anything. This is nothing is fun when you yeah when you have these shitty descriptions. Well, that's just fucking that's just fucking great. That's the door to the sergeant's office. Hey, hey. That's me. Oh, you're the sergeant. That's right. Bulletin board. That's yeah. on this fucking bulletin board. Whoa, whoa. Oh look my at, god. I'm, uh, whoa. Look at that depth. The movement. The bulletin board is where people post articles of interest, personal ads, and Chinese restaurant business cards. Like Wangs. I always eat at Wangs. Yeah? You like eating Wangs? Yes. I love eating Wangs. I mean, at Wangs! The best things about Wangs is the sauce, is the special sauce that you get at the end of the meal. It's, I can't, it's it's spicy, salty, like something about it just makes the whole eating at Wang's experience worth it, you know? Where's the briefing office? Need to stop talking about how I love eating Chinese. Uh. Oh, can't go, can't go. I can't walk there. 
Apparently that this is a dead end. This hallway does not want to be walked down. That is a, that is a dead end, apparently. Oh, God, I love point and clicks. <laughs> Walk down the hallway, sir. There we go. Oh, that, that, that was way more difficult than it should have been. I'm going to guess the briefing room is his open door. That's the door to the briefing room. There we go. All right. There we go. Oh, we should pull up manuals. We're probably going to need them. Oh, shit. Ow, fuck. Skeletal of the house says point and click kill I, Sierra games. I clicked on the door. Why didn't you walk in the door? When I spent fifty dollars on King's Quest V when it de uh, when it debuted and got a damn point and click interface plus the damned owl, I was pissed. Yep, yeah, it should be. Point and click sucks. I think a lot of people were. A lot of people really did not like it. Um, police Quest Three Men. Oh, Manuel. Manuel. The chalkboard has nothing on nothing important on it at this time. Soothing, isn't it? Soothing is what? See, game, this is why you're doing a very bad job at describing things. You should say it's a soothing painting to look at with a rowboat or something. So you just say, oh, it's soothing. You know why? Because you were fucking lazy, game. You're lazy. You're a lazy Sierra point and click. Far less creativity than you put into your puzzle games. You're saying, look at me, I'm a shitty point and click. The message board is where the daily briefing notes are posted after the briefing. So maybe you're saying is maybe it has less to do with the point and clicking and more more to do with the lazy game writing. Maybe. Maybe. The podium is used for giving briefings. That's Officer Cal Law. Cal's a real cut up. Uh, all right. The female officer is mm. Pat Morales. I hear she's a tough cookie. Probably because she's a dyke. Female cop, that's got to mean she's a dyke, I'm right? Su I'm surprised her name isn't like Pat Lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we call her behind her back. We call her Pat the Pussy. Because she likes to pat the pussy. I, I, it took you a while I, to get that. I was there, it was on the tip of my tongue. That's what Pat said. <laughs> but I'm dumb. <laughs> where, oh, my, my room. Where? Get it. What? Get it. The thing. The thing where I hit the button. Oh, God. Give, give me the I thing. Mean, it, I mean, first the, of all, it's I just need too the thing. late. It's just too late now. I have this one, but that's not the good one. No. Oh, that's that. the wrong one. That's the wrong one, God damn it. It's this one. The, this the, one yeah. it. There you go. It's yeah. far too late. It's far too late. We tried. <laughs> the Litton public needs us, Sergeant. Give us the crap of the day so we can get out of here. Did he actually say give us the crap of the day? Can you smack him? You'd think a new sergeant would know what... I'm trying to click on things! My fellow officers have been a little on edge since the corner donut shop closed. Ah. Uh. I take the ribbing in stride, knowing that it comes with a territory when my new Sarge is... When your new Sarge is... When your new... It comes with the territory when your new Sarge on the block. That's right. Which I don't think is proper English. <laughs> Somebody needed to spell check this game. <laughs> That's opposite Joe Bank. Joseph Banks. That, that makes way more sense. Yes, it does. Young, smart, and takes his job very seriously. Good. All these other people seem like dickheads. That's opposite Kevin Miller. Yeah. He's one of the old school cops. Older school than me. Mm -hmm. We we call him uh, we call him uh, Plant a Handgun Miller. <laughs> always we, the old Union Buster. <laughs> he always keeps a few extra uh, <laughs> few extra ounces of dope on him just in case an arrest goes south. <laughs> <laughs> Purple Space Bazooka says hi guys hooray for more police quests finally able to tip again I start a new job next Monday congratulations Purple Space Bazooka thank you for boosting my morale during this shit 2016 have some beer soda money and lol you think, fuck you, think, my you think 2016 is shit wait until after the election it'll be fine everything will be fine we're, we're fucked no matter what no it's gonna be we're fine no it's matter gonna be what. perfectly fine the next eight years will be perfectly fine 
either candidate's going to change their mind on the TPP, like, instantly. Yeah. You know, I thought it over. It's going to be fine. I feel very differently than I did a month ago. Uh, not a robot. Our Stranger Things discussion will hit YouTube soon. We're almost caught up. Yeah. We're pretty close now. Yeah. We need more, by the way. I know. Tonight. Okay, great. Well, we have one that went up today, right? One that went up today. But, uh, no, we're getting caught up, so it should be up within a week, I'd say. So we're, we're getting there. Stranger Things discussion. And you can always watch it on the Twitch past broadcasts. Oh, actually, no, in the Stranger Things discussion, I need to do... Because it was weird, like two oh, parts. Oh, so okay, so you I'll download that. You do that one, but okay. you, yeah, you keep going on your end, and now I'll do that one. But I'll, I'll get it up. I'll get it up. Drawing attention to me, Officer Law says. Uh, oh, uh, Officer Law. Oh, that guy. Uh, Look here, guys and gals. Another star is born. The sergeant, motherfucker. This dickhead up here. Hey, dickhead. Give us the crap. Afternoon, Morales. What's this, talk, what's this talk show? Just give the damn briefing. Oh, shit! I stutter for a moment, then mutter something about just being friendly. Mm. Well, that, can't, that doesn't sound like me at all. Honestly, you... Everything I do is with confidence. Obviously, the sergeant needs someone to take him by the hand. <laughs> you can take this by the hand. Hey, 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 Sarge. I'm calling you a gay. <laughs> Since you're obviously not up to it, the <laughs> officer in charge conducts the briefing. Uh, good afternoon, officers. Uh, since Sergeant Bonds here has obviously forgotten the, 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 the filing of the officer, Jack, we will go ahead with the briefing. His mouth is really freaking me out, Rich. Really freaking me out. Anyway, you have all, all you all have today's duty sheets. Ah, officer, oh, 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 oh. So there's fucking time shit in here too. Yeah, you needed to get to the podium in a certain God. time. Yeah, I'm sorry. This game's going to be crap. Yep. That's it. Have a safe shift and think about making right hand approaches on your car stops. What? What? Uh, young Bubby says Police Quest 3, the Kindred. Interestingly, Kindred is what vampires call each other. In the world Fuck of Vampire off. the Masquerade Bloodlines. I'm not an RPG fan. Why would I care about an RPG that people say is a very good RPG? That's about a subject matter I can't stand. <laughs> Shut up about it. I'm not going to play it. I give I no fucks. It. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. Anonymous says, I got game recommendation. It's called Blood Wizard. It plays as a semi... What? Blood Wizard. It plays as a semi-delayed redneck armed with a pistol chain. He must force himself on the princess and rescue her from the Wizard of Deathblood. What, Anonymous? Next. And Anonymous, Rich and, uh, Rich and Jay inspired me to grow a beard. However, it doesn't look nearly as great. How do you guys maintain style your beard? Um, Just buy a trimmer. Which length and where? By a trimmer and you shave the edges. Yeah. You don't use, like, any product on it? No. I'm not even sure how long I'm going to keep it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. I used to have a beard. I used to have a glorious, glorious beard. Yeah. Every once in a while, I think about growing it back. That's up to you. If you get rid of yours, I might have to grow mine just so we can, you know, keep balance in the universe. <laughs> don't you think? That would be fine. I'd be fine with that. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are we doing here? What's this? Uh, probably talk to the yeah. the dickhead over there. Obviously, and... Joe Bank responds after being interrupted from his report writing. Report writing. Uh, uh, gee, gee, Sarge, I, I'd really like to finish this report. Get back to work. Uh, I'm sorry, Sarge. Just don't hit me like everyone else does. All right, now what am I supposed to do with this stupid point and click? Uh, Rich is wearing a Batman shirt, not a Wu-Tang Clan shirt. That's the door to the filthy criminal psychologist's office. Uh, we don't need that kind of mind mumbo Just need a club. I don't need no fancy talking mumbo jumbo. 
You don't care about their feelings when you're arresting them for dope smuggling. The only criminal's feelings I care about is pain. <laughs> I want them to feel plenty of pain. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, Telegon says, Rich and Jack, what do you think of the latest Rogue One trailer? Have you seen it? I haven't even seen the latest one. I haven't seen it, I'm sorry. I think it looks much more interesting than Force Awakens. Also, Sonny Ronald Reagan was stupid pants. Okay. I don't know what that means. I haven't seen the new trailer. I'm, uh, you know, I'll see it when it comes out. I don't need. I no longer need to be sold on it, so I don't care about the trailer. The bookcase contains law of reference materials. Those are file drawers. This is the sergeant's office. Oh man! Your computer occupies the center of your desk. This business, the computer, is an indispensable tool. If you're some kind of pansy. Back in your, my day. Your other indispensable tool is your gun. <laughs> and your tool, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's your real indispensable tool. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I'll take it. <clears throat> That's the lieutenant's stuff. Is it his desk too? That desk belongs. Who's the lieutenant, game? <laughs> You're supposed to give me information on things when I click on them. <laughs> oh, what's the point? What's the goddamn point? I hate you. <laughs> There's a floppy. I'm going to... Uh, what, what? Oh, oh, what, you're on the What computer. do I... I don't know how to use these things. You're I've used the, one a couple times, actually. You're on the computrator. I'm going to hit the button. What does it do? It's beeping. Is that... Is it supposed to beep? Is it beeping? We're going to pretend it's beeping. Beep. Beep. <gasps> no, it's, 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 zeep, 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 zeep. I need, a, I need a computer access card. For, that's fucking peachy key. You're the fucking it? sergeant. That's the computer card. A computer access card slot. It's a computer. Steal one from the lieutenant. That's the power switch. I hate you, game. Your lousy lack creativity. Blah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Sunny Sunny Bonds. Computer. You finally succumbed to years of alcoholism and your brain functions are stopped. Computer. <laughs> I know what that's a reference to. That's a reference. All the smart people do. That's a reference to um, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Yes, that's exactly what that's a reference to. When Scotty tried to. In Star Wars, when Scotty tried to break into the um, the TARDIS, but uh, he had to bypass the flux capacitor first. The homicide room. The graph on the wall charts homicides for the past three years. Like inflation, like inflation, the crime rate rises steadily. Ooh. That, that's clearly a, a, a street map. That is clearly a street map. That's clearly, clearly a street map. That is absolutely not a graph on the wall charting homicides. They put zero fucking effort into this. Zero fucking effort. Um. The filing cabinet belongs to the captain. He always keeps it locked. A phone. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what that is now, right? The desk that for officers is signed to homicide. Rarely do I find anything of interest on the bulletin board. This is going to be a space, the, the, the Police Quest 3. It's going to be a fucking disaster, isn't it? So far, it's not looking good this for is, Police Quest 3. This is going to crash the Sunny Bond saga. I'm not saying we won't finish it, but it's not looking <laughs> promising. Captain Tate runs the homicide division for the Lytton Police Department. Let's P Poop Dick fifteen seventy nine says this might be more boring than No Man's Sky. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, that's saying something. That's saying something. Sergeant Bonds, oh. good to see you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Got an internal affairs meeting. I had finished. My oh. Oh, it, it timed out. The text timed out. I couldn't finish reading it. <laughs> I love his voice. Sergeant, don't you think you better get back on the streets where you belong? Uh -huh. 
But you're a sergeant. Why are you on the streets? Hey, it, it, it's, poli it's politics. It's politics. It's all politics. Apparently I have to use the hand icon on the door. That's fine. That's fine. I guess that's what, what the, the point-and-click equivalent of a puzzle is. Right. Uh, oh, and lesser god, yes. Yes. What? I will. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, I will. There's nothing you can do about it. What are you going to do about it? There's what? nothing you can do about I it. I can't. What's in this? I can't. There's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. Is there, <laughs> is there a locker room or something? Is there something I could do? Oh, that's right. He was he was assigned to traffic because of staffing issues. Just something. That's right. It's not, it's okay. You're right. Fuck it. Just, Great. Just fuck it. Just fuck everything all the time forever. Varyar77 says, Hey, guys, I believe one or both of you are Stephen King fans. Uh, if not, you can ignore this. If you are, any thoughts on the upcoming Dark Tower movie with Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey? I'm really not. My opinion of Stephen King is he's... Had some nice concepts for stories, yeah. mm -hmm. but he's had some terrible endings. Every single Al one of his endings has been terrible. Almost ubiquitous. And and he's takes way too he, he's way too verbose about things. Way, way, he doesn't get to the point. It's not it's not a it's not an efficiently told story. And he's but some stinks, some of that I like. Tell. Like he he's he's good at atmosphere. He's great at premises. And I I find myself reading a lot of his books just because. His ideas are so great, but they always end like shit. Every single one. Yeah. Um, I've been told that the the Dark Tower series is pretty good. Yeah. I didn't read it just because I know his endings are shit. I like I Idris Elba as an actor. I like Matthew McConaughey as an actor. And it'll probably have a really great premise, some fun, interesting things, and then end poorly. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's all I can expect. But it looks good. Okay. Because two actors who are involved are good actors. That's the only thing I know. Mm. So, does Emmanuel have anything about proce what? procedures? I'm much quieter than... Okay, hold on. About procedures? Oh, I'm sure. Before I get in this car and everything blows up. Everything's going to blow up. Now I'm slightly louder, probably too much louder. Oh, okay, there we go. Funny what? Please call dispatch at once. Oh, uh, okay. Levels of force. Let's see what we got here. There's a lot of manual, of course. Oh, now it wants me to use a keyboard. Vehicle code, standard operating procedures, arrest, assault, crime, coroner. Detective, evidence, fact, felony. Facts. What do I need facts for? <laughs> um, traffic officer. Maintain high visibility while on routine traffic patrol. Clearly visible patrol cars are proven to reduce the instances of traffic collisions in the area of operations. Two. Pay special attention and take immediate action on the following accident-causing violations. Excessive speeding, driving under the influence, reckless driving, failure to stop at a red light, failure to stop at a stop sign, driving too slow in the fast lane. Does any like, check your car? I guess you can't do that with a point and click. Right. How do you how do you how do you use point and click to do inspect car? I guess you just click on the eye icon, but you just do that anyway, just to examine something. You know, I don't see like anything. A, uh, wouldn't be like a puzzle for officer safety. Make right hand approaches on car stops. Right hand approaches. That's on important, car stops. and we saw that earlier. Make sure they have sufficient evidence for successful prosecution. Search and handcuff all prisoners. Um, patrol the freeway at fifty five miles per hour and pay attention to the flow of traffic. I'm getting in my car. This is all boring. Stop being boring. This is all boring. This is all boring. Now, where do you think you are going? I, I thought I was trying to use the fucking dispatch. There's a radio in the car, right? Uh, is there an inventory? Do I have a radio in the inventory? No, I don't. All right. Oh, they're saying you need to go. Do you need to go get your equipment? That's possible. Is that a thing? I remember that from the early ones. We'll see if I can find a locker room. Great. 
Ah, Unit 603 Idiot says, There is nothing wrong with point and clicks, you just need a good one. You should try Loom, the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty. Loom. Whatever. From Brian Moriarty. Hippie. Bloom from Brian Moriarty. And Anonymous says, Hi, Jack and Rich. Incredibly important question. Do you prefer your bacon crispy or chewy? Chewy. Uh, you know, why can't it be a little bit of both? A little bit of both, but... Thicker cut bacon. Chewy's can... better than crispy. Given the choice. Given the, given the one absolute or the other, crispy's mm. horrible. I mean... I like it a little bit of both. Do you prefer the edges of brownie or the center of brownie? Not, not a big chocolate guy. Zero brownie. I prefer the center because the edges are usually burnt. Prefer the edges of hash brown. How about that? You prefer the, the edges of hash brown? crispier parts of the hash brown. Oh, sure. Yes, I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, thanks for the great content. LOL, flock my clock. Please, you uh, I'm I'm getting requests to please talk like this forever. People seem to like this voice. Okay. I don't know quite what it is. British, villainous. You know what this is? This is my Sherlock Holmes villain voice. <laughs> well, hello there, Holmes. But not but not Moriarty. Not quite not quite good enough to be Moriarty. I think I think that's what ca- caught me into it. Is it was a little Moriarty, but I'm not that devious. You see, I'm I'm rather slow. <laughs> My major crime is I push children over. Sherlock Holmes, easiest case. <laughs> I'm standing in the men's locker room. This is the men's locker room, hence the lockers. Hence the men. <laughs> Getting flashbacks to wings. <laughs> anyone, anyone else feel like a... Feel like a, a a duck roll right now? No, that's a food item, not a not a sex position. Now, what was my combination? Oh yes, I wrote it down on the inside cover of my police manual. Oh, oh, oh! Police manual. You wrote it on the inside cover. That's what it says. Right, hold on. Do do do. Seven seven six. Seven seven six is is the code on your police manual. That's a terrible code. Well, it's you know it's your code. It's your code. Uh, but how do I get in touch with this? I need dispatch. Where's the dispatch? Go go. You have to find them. You have to find them. That's the storage closet. I w- maybe I want to know what's in the storage closet. Okay, that's fair. No, that's fair. That's fair. That's a possibility. <laughs> Bullets. Damn straight. Oh, oh. the batteries. <laughs> oh, the oh. batteries. Well, <laughs> this is an adventure game, so I'm just going to take everything. Absolutely. Here, what can I click on? It's a point and click, click. I can take flares. And batteries. Uh, I got all the things I could take. I didn't have to think about it at all, but this is a point and click. Great. Try your best Pierce Brosnan. Oh, I don't even know what Pierce Brosnan sounds like. He's so, he's so normal. He's such a normal Brit. He doesn't have a fun accent. Oh, Rich, if you take the batteries, you lose. Why? I don't know. That's just what someone said, and I thought it was funny, so I repeated it. So I repeat. Oh, hey, there's dispatch. You found it. You win. Y- yay! Yay! I put the batteries in the flashlight. I knew that was gonna come up. <laughs> I was way ahead of that one. <laughs> Notebook. That's the description they wrote for this. It just says, "Notebook." <laughs> well. Is there anything in the notebook? I don't know. Does it say anything interesting? I don't know. Richard, there is an important question from Cesarean Fart that you should address on stream. What? Hopefully not a redundant question. Haven't caught the stream lately, but are you guys going to play the Dead Rising 1 PC port on the stream? Thanks for more police quests, you hack fraud fucks. That is an important question, and I know you have an answer for this. I don't know if there's a good reason to play it on the stream. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely glad it's coming out. 
somebody uh, gifted it for me. I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. I've already had the Ultimate Dead Rising stream. You Not only did you have an absolutely perfect game, you ended it whilst spitting, and you did it all live in front of an audience. Yes! So there is recorded proof of your perfect game. Yes! What? How? Why else would? Why would you ever play that again? I, I, there's no reason to. Right. It's done. Right. I've 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 hit the peak. <laughs> right. So so I I don't think. No, you we'll didn't. The game froze halfway through. Let's chat say it. I'm trying to invalidate my run. Oh, it's come on. I'm, I'm gonna remember that name. <gasps> I'm gonna remember that name. Dun dun dun. Real day on. No, oh, you I called him you out. said that. Called him, called out the real van. Shit down my perfect game. Shit, don't take dog. That. He don't take don't none take of that. that. He don't take none of that. Shit, dog. <laughs> Mike Downs is the head technician. <laughs> he runs the computer facilities because he's a big fat nerd. Oh. That's why they put him in front of a computer. It's all he's good for, really. I remember picking on him back in high school. Mm-hmm. He used to shove his head into the toilet after I took a crap in it. <laughs> I really I really wasn't kind to Mike Downs. I'm a cop now, <laughs> so I can get away with it. I can shove his head in the toilet right now. There's, there's absolutely nothing he can do to stop me. Remember? In fact, I can murder Mike Downs, mm -hmm. put a gun in his hand, and claim it was self-defense. I, I have that power. Remember that time I, I caught the Death Angel twice? I can do whatever I want. I own this town. I talked to the nerd. Hey, Fatso. Fatso McLoser, remember when we called you that? <laughs> what does dispatch want, Fatso? Uh, who? Oh, sure, I'll tell. <laughs> hey, Bonds, we need you to drive out to Aspen Falls to respond to a call. All of you can clear out. Listen, charge. I'm a very busy person. Not your messenger boy. Do you remember the toilet? I have memories of the toilet. I thought so. I have memories of the toilet. Oh, I have to bring it to the ground floor. Damn it. Uh. Damn it. Damn it. I know. You know Damn what? It. My 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 nerd needed a little more like. Breathlessness. Well, actually, sorry. And Cheeto um, dust. Hold on. I could, you know, just your excitement got got me a little excited. Now a little out of breath. Now maybe the game will let me get in my car so I can run down some criminals. That'd be great. Or maybe just some pedestrians. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Anonymous says, Jack. When are you adding the stand-up timer to the overlay? It, re it can replace the game's title since Twitch displays it by default anyway. Also, this game is shite play through the Quest of Glory series instead. Oh, Quest of Glory has grinding, which would slow the game down considerably. Considerably. I wouldn't mind doing it, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a fast peppy stream. Sure. And I do know that Twitch has the the game title up there uh so do we have a map how do we how do we navigate but you know also remember past broadcasts and we cut them up for youtube so that serves a purpose uh stand-up timer is not a bad are, idea stand we just drove off the road what all right there's got to be a way to control driving is this a point and click that makes you use the keyboard for driving that would suck Ah, oh, for fuck's it, sake. Was this one of those awkward years point and clicks? Fuck's sake. I'm getting there. There is a street grid of Lytton. I got a, I got a little map here. Yeah. Guide for new cadets. First day briefing. Notes. You drew a, a little picture of your badge. There's a picture of your whore wife. Like a real picture of you and your whore wife. Oh, nice. Hold on, I'm sneaking into the women's room. What? Nice. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, oh, look at that. No, no, stop. I want to read the things. You fucking. She was, uh, she was in her undies. She was in her undies. Well, it auto scrolled that, so I couldn't read that in a funny oh, Sunny Bond's voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, the Riddle of Steel says law school resumes tomorrow, and you guys are the only thing keeping me sane. Prereq is great. No Man's Sky side note. Who the fuck thought a game all about Mass Effect 2 planet probing would be a good idea? Ooh, that lady ought to be in professional boxing. Guess I went in at the wrong time. You men are all alike. You, I oh, just want to see my, my, my boobs and butt. Oh, I don't like it that you look at me when I'm half dressed. It is inappropriate. That's what it said. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think Rich put it really well last stream, which is you know this uh, No Man's Sky is what would be fluff in a better game. Yeah. But it's just the whole game. Um. I don't uh, kill Foss Liffer. I have not heard of the Silver Case. If it's a new Suda 51 game, it doesn't get me any more excited. <laughs> and I don't think Suda 51's made a good game in a while. Yeah, check it out. So. Uh. Uh, Archavale says, Hi, guys. I have a weird story to share about my family's chicken ranch. Lately, I've been having trouble with Larry Owell, a guy who breaks into farms and has sex with livestock. L. Owell fucks my cocks. That's a great joke. That was a fantastic joke. There we go! Now we're in it. Now we're in the swing of things. Now we're in the, that's now we're in the swing of things. Uh, gobbledygooks, random suggestions, set the stand-up timer to the opening of the Star Spangled Banner. That'd be fun. Yeah, uh, and you know, I I haven't been too concerned about the stand-up, like today I, I rode my bike here, and so it's like I'm getting plenty of leg exercise, um, and I'm just tired, and I'm also like wearing my biking shorts, so I, I'd be a little uh, more hesitant to stand up and show you my sweet ass biking shorts. But uh, oh yeah, Rich, you should probably save the game. Yeah, it's been a while. At least uh, I guess. I'm sorry. If you like an appointment, you can come back later, Dink. I'm in control now. I run the computers, and I maybe, run... Maybe maybe in about twenty years, but right now, <laughs> I'm still in charge. Oh, I don't like that about you. And with the psychic powers I have obtained, I foresee a thing called the internet, <laughs> where you will be master, <laughs> and people like me, good, honest, hardworking men, will be the slaves. <laughs> but that time is not yet. No, oh, I hope I see that time. I. I have a crippling heart condition. It's called extreme obesity. It's really bad for your heart. I forgot the batteries. Oh. No. no, no, go back, go back. Oh, restore. Hi, man Z says hi, Jack and Rich. I started watching live streams almost ten years ago, and that first stream was Police Quest Three. I feel like things have come full circle. Also, rose-colored glasses lie. That's very true about old games. I never had rose. I never. I never played this one. Oh yeah. Because it's. I hated the. I hated the point it's and click. The point and click, right? The Sierra point and clicks were terrible. So far, it's it's looking uh, looking a little. Uh... No wait, you already put some batteries in your flashlights, didn't you? That was before we died. Oh, we died. Died. We died. We died. Died. Yeah, you know, like sometimes rose-colored glasses works. Uh, you know, in in recently replaying Half-Life Two, that's a fine game. A lot of a lot of fun stuff in that game. Doesn't look the greatest overall, but that was still a fun game. I have fond memories of that. All right, now we got to figure driving out. Do we okay. need a keyboard for this or what? Maybe. Oh, did he say where I was going? Oh fuck. I don't know where I'm going. 
I don't know where you're going either. Shit, we may need a walkthrough. <sighs> I'm on it. Does the keyboard work? Yeah, turn the wheel. Oh. Oh. Really? You got you got a hair trigger. So you're southbound on six. Hold on, let me get the map up. Are we just gonna guess where you're going? What are the what are the controls? Hmm. There's no controls. I. I don't. I don't. I don't, Rich. Wait, where are you going? Back to the car to try again because the driving doesn't work. I just want to figure out how to do things in the car. Well, I think it's left and right like you were doing. If, if you hit behind the car, is that like a slowdown? Nope. Yeah, break. How come that didn't pop up before? I don't know. So then you, you have to like... If you hold it down? Maybe. Oh. I think you've stopped. And then you just need to like... Now you woo, yeah. When well, I turned the way I didn't want to turn, which was now you're eastbound on Poppy. What the fuck? Okay, so I see where you are, sixth and Poppy. Where do you want to go? Do we know? I don't remember. Okay, shit. Oh, oh god. All right, hold on. Um, let me walk up a walk through really quick. All right, I figured it out. You figured it out car. Mouse control driving. Wow, what a fantastic idea. Okay, let's see here. Take the road you're on southbound until you hit the river and then go as far east as you can until Aspen Falls. So you are westbound on river. Hold on. Hold on. West. You are now westbound. Okay, so... Uh, the driving was more fun in Police Quest 1. Yeah? Like, by, by a lot. <clears throat> by a lot. Okay, you're southbound on six. Once you hit river, take a right. So that was Lily, or that was Rose. This is Lily. As soon as you see river pop up, take a right. <sighs> and boom. Nice. Now you're going to wait until you see something. Oh, shit. I told you the wrong way to go, by the way. You want to you wanna turn around? How do I do that, Jack? I have no... I knew how to do that in Police Quest 1. Idea. Where the driving was actually kind of fun. I th oh, I think I made a horrible mistake. You want to go to Aspen Falls Recreation Area. Wait, so now you're northbound on 5th? So take a take a right. I'm on Poppy. You're on Poppy. Great, that's great. That'll get you there. This will just go until you hit Aspen Falls Recreational Area. Then you might need to take another right on on Walls. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God, Rich! Just, you, you, you slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, you're supposed to be setting a good example. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, God. Uh, Frogwater says, sorry, I almost never give you guys money. Jack, what happened to your snack recommendations? Also, will there be any cheese sandwiches in this stream? LOL, living on libations, frame boys, my cock knobs. Uh, well, today my snack of choice is uh, is totally naked from New Glarus, a fine fine beer. Hmm. Okay, so this time take a left when you get onto uh, 
River. River. You just ran a stop sign. Is yeah. that going to be a game over? It's it's not yet. Did I fuck myself up? Because this is a Sierra game, and they're bastards. <laughs> and they're bastards. They were. Uh, sometimes I don't have snacks, so I don't give snack recommendations. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, no need to apologize for not giving us money. That's what we give people the option. You just want to watch. You want to give us a little. You want to give us some. It's whatever you want to do. It's whatever you want to do. Uh, Magical Flying Toaster says, I was finally able to watch Space Cop, and it was everything I'd hoped it would be. Great job by everyone at RLM and their guests, especially Rich as the cop from the future. The future of space. That's a full stop right there. Nice, Rich. Nice. All right, so eastbound and river. There's got to be a street called Down, right? Is there, tell me there's a street down. called Down. I will check. Uh, so eventually you're going to hit the Aspen Recreational Area right at the end of this, and that's where you want to be. But, you know, don't fall off the road like you did last time. There is no Down. We cannot go eastbound and down. I'm sorry. Well, thank you, Magical Flying Toaster. Tiger, magical flying tiger. Uh, Anonymous says, "Welcome to the rich, re- welcome to the rich and Jack. Greetings from China. I am a new Red Letter Media fan, and I'm in love. Jack has a gorgeous bald head, and I love the rich belly. Thank you. Thank you. No, I stopped. Ah, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't bring the DS. We can't play Phoenix, right?" We could play something else, though. <laughs> we haven't given this much of a chance. We have really not given this much of a chance. Um, Unit 603, it says, Loom is an extraordinary adventure with an inter- an interface on magic, stunning high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects, not to mention detailed animation and special effects. This Loom, apparently, Rich, is the, is the, bee's, uh, is the bee's pajamas. Of course, of course. Bees pajamas. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about sausage party. Tear both eyes out. I've heard some people say it's funny. I've heard other people say it it really sucks. It looks awful. Like the animation quality looks cheap as hell. Ah, I, 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 I was never planning on seeing it because I don't like Seth Rogen. You are going 55 miles per hour on a residential, Rich. Manuel says go 55. I, I So I was going 55. Sure. Sure, I guess you're right. It's the birds, bees. You're right. Loom is the hot new indie title. Is that true? Well then, you know we're gonna play it. Probably not. Just probably not. It's not the hot new indie title. It was the hot new indie title like 20 years ago. Oh, okay. Horatio Svetlana says, Jack, I saw the interview and I agree with you that it's actually a solid movie. It really is. I was- Did I go past it? No, you'll, you, you have to run into it. There was a sign. What? There was a sign for it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's what the you want. Sign disappeared. Oh. Do I get out here? I, I don't. I can't call dispatch. Okay. Can I talk to it? No, I can't do mm. that. X X. No. I can't interact funly with my environment. Oh. Why is the engine not running? <sighs> what is that? What What is that? Button controls the emergency lights and siren. Can I turn it on? Or you? Just, nope, I can't turn it on. I keep clicking. It's in my glove box. I reach over and op- op- reach over and bleh, open the glove box. Should leave that with the vehicle unless I have a specific need. For oh, well, there what, what is it? It's a speedometer calibration chart. 
service record for this car's speedometer. Department policy requires that all speedometers be calibrated every 90 days. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's so exciting. Oh, no. Rich is losing it. Rich is losing it. But anyway, yeah, if you guys haven't seen the interview yet, I, I do not usually care for that Seth Rogen. Mm -hmm. Really funny movie. Really solid comedy movie. Seth Rogen and James Franco uh, run like a celebrity gossip TV show. And James Franco gets an opportunity to uh, go to South, uh, North Korea to interview Kim Jong-un. And so it's like a little little meatballs E. Oh, oh, shit! You made it? Being waved over. Save! You made it. They hate us because oh, they officer, ain't thank God you've got to right. stop that man. He's a raving lunatic. What man? I can't choose to ask you questions. I just have to talk to you with the talk thing, and you automatically say the things. Just what seems to be the problem, ma'am? Uh. There's a madman over there. Why Why he almost almost butt naked, ranting and raving about aliens from outer space. He's going to hurt someone. Calm down, ma'am. I've got a gun. <laughs> the big, strong man with the big, powerful gun is here. The woman is hysterical and won't calm down until I take care of the alleged crazy man or slap her. But my, my hand's kind of sore. I've been doing a lot of slapping lately. Marie's been acting up. So I'm going to choose not to slap this woman to calm her hysterics down. She's, she's been washing the, the dishes? The hysterics that are caused by her uterus. Yes. Marie's been washing the dishes. She doesn't dry them immediately, though. And then you know what? You get the little spots on there. I don't, I don't like it's, that. It's, it's unacceptable. 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 You know, little push, little poke, little slap. Good stuff. All right. The grass stays lush and green on the banks of the river. Great. The woman seems close to hysteria over something. Well, you know what, Sonny? Something has disturbed the picnickers. What do you have to say, sir? Oh, we're okay. Uh, go get that fruitcake. Yep. <laughs> what do you want with us? The nutcase is over there by the river. La, look, lock that madman up before you hurt someone, Officer Mian. Do you something, officer? All right. I am on drugs. You can tell by my pink shorts. Why would I wear pink shorts? Officer, do you have any drugs? Because I'm almost out of drugs. They're in me. I think he's that way. Well, I, I clicked up here. Oh. It's just. I think the madman is that way. If you insist. I believe the lady pointed are that there way. Are there other madman procedures? <laughs> Obtaining entry into private property. Felony, breathalyzer. Oh, there's a breathalyzer. How do I draw my gun? <laughs> like that. I can't. You, no, it's drawn. Now. I just can't because this is a lousy point and click. Forceful. There's forceful entries into dwellings, levels of force. Level one, passive verbal resistance. How do I use things in this stupid game? I, I don't. I think you like... I think you like cl you click that like your gun like, like it is now and then you like click it on the bad guy. All right, all right. Well, that's not exciting. It's like drawing from the holster and right. having it up in front of you. Yeah, yeah. That's nowhere near as exciting. I agree. All right, go get that madman. Verbal f resistance first. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. The man's clearly in a deranged state of mind. Though whether because of the LDS or some other mental instability is unclear. So first is verbal. Sir... You there, leave this place! Give me a gun, leave this place! I got, I, I got scared before the, before the Bathonians come! Clark, get out of the way! The mothership's a promotion! I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I have scotch, got to put my hand on him! Right, you are leaving this place, I got, I said all these things before, I'm repeating them, I got, because I'm a crazy man, Uh, 
Um, okay, so that's level one. Uh, level two is threats indicate an imminent physical attack. No, no weapons used. Call for backup if possible. Use department-approved hand-to-hand -hand combat. Use PR-24. Can you call for backup? No, you don't have a radio. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Goodbye, sir. If I don't have that fruit cake, can I, can I use, will it let me use my radio? Uh, Skeltala House says, Wikipedia says the Police Quest 3 driving, uh, of the, inter uh, the Police Quest 3 driving, the interface has been simplified and streamlined. <laughs> That's how they sold yes. the driving. Okay, you can't call for backup. And TNG After Dark says, all this driving got me thinking, what did you two do on your driver's exams way back in the day? I freaked out the first one. Yeah? Yeah. Freaked out? Yeah. A little driver freak out? I was nervous. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I had a, I had a, I, I bumped, like, bumped a curb oh. on a turn, and the uh, guy was a dick about it, and mm. I just freaked out a little bit. Did you pass? Not the first time. Oh? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rich, terrible driver. I was waiting, like, 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 five hours in lines and whatnot. I was already nervous to begin with. <laughs> Everything about it was horrible. Sure, sure. Uh, I, I passed my first time. Oh, maybe. So he's gone. What? He's just gone. Because you tried to radio. Because I tried to go for radio help. Well, maybe he could go that way more. Uh, on on the farm. Do you remember in the fun police quest game when you could fall in the river? Yeah, that was fun. can't do that now. Oh. You can't do that now. Uh, we we drove around a lot. I drove trucks. It and won't let me go off stuff. to the side of the screen either. I guess he's just gone, and my job is done. Wow, we're failing. <sighs> we are failing. Well, that problem solved itself. <laughs> so I I did a lot of driving beforehand. Uh, so I was pretty comfortable. Uh, Citizens, the problem is solved. Apparently, the man just went away on his own. Oh yeah, you can load your save game and, and shoot the bum. If you want to if saves come. Lock that man, that man up before he hurts someone. He's he's gone. I I tried. The the man has departed. Um, When's the last time you saved? He's not he's not there anymore. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Let me walk back. Maybe he came back. Nope. The man is gone. Ma'am, sir, whatever you are, pixel, <laughs> pixel person. <laughs> Well, my work is done. <laughs> Saves come. I'm just going home. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. It's another job well done. <laughs> Let him never say that Sonny Bonds isn't lazy. <laughs> uh, Anonymous says, hey, Rich, I've got a great RPG for you. It's called subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just kidding. Love you guys. Hope the new computer shopping. Uh, how's the new computer shopping going? I... I you can't turn around. How do you turn around? <laughs> oh, no. Your failure to secure a deranged man resulted in a few civilian injuries when he attacked a nearby family. You were suspended. You suck at your job. Womp, womp, womp. You told me to get back up. That's part of, that was part of the thing. That was part... Call for backup if possible. You <laughs> Why? I had a car right there with a radio. It was possible. Yeah, it was possible. Okay, so levels of force. Level one, passive verbal resistance. Usually occurs during the questioning of a suspect while on traffic stops. Firm professional conduct will, in most cases, prevent the situation from escalating. So level two, hand-to-hand -hand combat, PR-24. Level three, deadly force. Did you just shoot him? What? Shooting a perpetrator whose only threat to you is his mouth and fist is no way to uphold the law. You're suspended from the LPD. What the hell are you talking about? This world doesn't make any sense to me anymore. Oh, I did it. I did oh, my job. Oh, Sonny Bonds. I, I, I saved the streets from the filth and the scum. That man thought he was some kind of bathtub alien. 
It was clearly on the LDS. <laughs> <laughs> those hippies, once those hippies start <laughs> reproducing, yeah, that's, there's no stopping them. That's when you got a problem. That's when you got a problem. Um, on the subject of PC building, I have found all my parts for a medium form gaming PC. It's going to look beautiful. I'm really excited about it. Um, and um, I we will build on stream. That's what we talked about, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to build it on stream. We're going to have an, another PC building stream. I'll get all the parts. So, you know, it might take them a couple weeks to come. And I, I had an idea. Rich had a crazy idea. Chat, see if you're down with his crazy idea, because it's crazy. When Jack's building his PC, I want to hook him up to a heart rate monitor. <laughs> Jack has never built a PC I've, before. I've never built a PC before. It's We're spending a lot of money again to build something. and uh, A lot of money will be on the line. And the pressure of a live audience is not going to help things. <laughs> You've never done it before. And I've never done it before. And so we found this thing that you can hook up to yourself and it, it, it hooks up to a program that will live, like, give you a, a, your heart monitor. So we can put the heart monitor on, on OBS. <laughs> Um, and so that's going to happen in a couple of weeks whenever I get, yes, everyone loves it. Of course. Yeah. That was a great <laughs> idea, Rich. God damn it. I have to wear this thing on my toe. You guys should yeah, know that. Yeah. Well, you know, you could wear it on your hand for extra comedy value. <laughs> and then try to yeah, build my PC yeah, yeah. with that dumb thing on my hand. <laughs> uh, so uh, tomorrow I'm going to order all my parts. Du for, well, before I order all my parts, I'm going to double check that everything fits in my small form the, PC yeah. case, which yeah. is very important. But tomorrow I'm going to order all my parts, and so as soon as I get them in, we will do another PC build stream, and, and I'm going to build a gaming PC. I'm pretty excited. It, it, it'll be fun. I'm pretty it'll excited you, about you'll, it. You'll have ownership over it, Jack. Mm. I, I was very proud when I built my first PC. I was so fucking proud of myself. Yeah? Yeah. I, I'm, I was I'm before really that. I always had to have my dad help me with every every computer problem I ever had. <laughs> my dad, my dad's a computer guy. Oh, sure, he, sure. he like you know working on computers, and he built my first I don't know, however many computers. But my first like primitive one, and then he built my first like serious one. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, ever I had any kind of technical problem, I just had to dad call him up, call him at home. Yeah, yeah. Dad, it's not working. <laughs> God, this is what, let me read the error message to you. Mm -hmm. And one problem, one time, the problem was just like 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 something loose inside that I had to jiggle around, and <laughs> I'm just, you know I'm gonna learn to do the shit myself. Yeah. I'm not gonna bug my dad about it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting a lot of the same stuff that Rich got for his computer, as far as like CPU cooler, and uh, I, I have to get a slightly. But different... But you're getting a tiny one for some reason. I, I want a small f a smaller form computer because of my desk situation, and I want it to look pretty. Yeah. You know. If it's if it's gonna hang around my desk and it'll it'll need to be up above on my desk because I don't want it on my floor because there's a lot of cat hair. He, he wants it to look pretty. I want it to look pretty. There's nothing wrong with wanting your computer to look pretty. Nothing wrong with that. That's when you get like the the neon green one with like a hole cut in the side with no. with with lights. No, it's it's brushed aluminum. I'm getting the Leanne Lee PCQ10 case. Yeah. L I A N L I. PCQ10 case, which is not super small form, but smaller form. Brushed aluminum, uh, a glass side so you can see your work. Mm -hmm. um, it looks gorgeous. I'm very excited about it. So I had to get a different graphics card than Rich got um, because I can only have a graphics card that is 10 and a half inches. Jack, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help Jack as little as possible. Right. Right. As little as possible. I, and like, I, maybe maybe if you start taking like the the um, the what you call it that I forget what they they, they call that gunk the, the the gunk that you put on top of your process if you start like putting it on the pins or something uh -huh. I will yell stop sure sure yeah. but but and like I I agree with everyone who's saying uh, performance is more important than outside looks which I absolutely agree and I'm not sacrificing in any performance areas, which is why... That's why you're going to have heating problems. Uh, I, According to the people on the internet, I shouldn't have any heating problems. Um, thermal paste. Thank you, Chad. Thermal, thermal paste. paste. But, uh... 
So it, it should perform just as well. You can't, yeah, you can't just beat him up. You have why, to... why, why can't I beat him up? I, for some reason, I choose not to beat him up. Using a nightstick on someone who hasn't threatened you is against the law, which I am the law. <laughs> I don't understand how I can be against myself, quite frankly. <laughs> I'm not close enough to handcuff the man. Well, this, this will, oh, I... Whoa! Don't, don't try to stop me. You'll be vaporized if you interfere. I'm trying to contact the the bath alien. Hey, what are you doing? That's my badge. Ah, I gotta take your butt in the lake. I gotta dance on this rock, man. Babylonian <laughs> scoff with your badge, law man. Mother ship will squash you like a pip. Can't read the rest. Can't believe this guy. Deranged men can be real slippery. Now I've got no bed. I warn you, if you don't leave, I'm gonna have to hurt you. This area must be evacuated. Fortunately, I'm carrying a spare badge. I put it on. What? What kind of fucking puzzle is that? I didn't see a spare badge in my fucking inventory. Right? That's just weird. We're gonna take your clothes. <laughs> Pile of clothes probably belonging right. to the half naked perp. Is sitting by the rocks unattended. I search the, deran the deranged man's clothes, hoping for something which will lure him out of the water. Oh, okay. I find a set of keys and a driver's license, which is a strange thing for a hippie to have. Uh. Hey, fella, I think I've got something here. I was alone, foolish mortal! <laughs> No. <laughs> no. I'm not going to leave them alone. They're in my hand. Right. God, why, could, why can't I just shoot this man? This is Brian Forbes' license. Number 789612. Great. I have the nuts' keys. Great. Shoot the keys. <laughs> oh, you fucking stupid inventory system. Fucking point and click garbage. Release those keys, mortal. I am the chosen one, not you. Uh, da, 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 da. Gobbledygook says, join the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Club, Jack. I have a 43-inch 4K monitor. I sit a few feet from it, and Overwatch looks fantastic. I, I don't think I can get the 1080 because I believe that is 11 inches. And I can only have 10.5 inches in my... Remember, people, it's all about looks. I, I want all about I want a nice-looking tower. All about the looks. The graphics card I am getting is, should be a nice enough graphics card for my personal use. I want a nice-looking PC. There's nothing wrong with wanting a nice-looking PC. Calling on my old softball arm, I haul back and throw the keys as far as I can to the river. What, what good is that going to do? That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to dangle them by the side of the river. What? Why would you do there, that? Now your keys and my badge are neighbors. This is all very childish. I'll kill you for that, you flat-headed, flat-footed, ignoramus. I'm an aminous. Rag. Take that, you Whoa. hippie! First of all, sweet moves. <laughs> sweet, sweet moves. Oh, and I couldn't read that. Damn oh, it. sorry. No, it's not your fault. It was only on the screen for like a second. Right. Boom. I cuffed the hip. The I, I, I did something. Great. That I wasn't allowed to read. Hold Police on. Quest 3. Let me get back into the manual here. Uh, for booking, never enter a booking facility with your weapon. Remove all personal items from the prisoner's pockets and place them into the booking drawer. Was he going into the passenger seat? The front? Why would you put him in the front? The front? 
That can't be right. Hold on. Hold on. It doesn't say anything here about like getting him into the right part of your car. Just about booking. So, quite frankly, what I should have done in that situation mm -hmm. was I should have shot a black man who was lying on the ground with his hands in the air. That would have been the proper way to handle that situation, and in hindsight, I regret my actions. No. No, Rich. No, Rich. Uh, Loner Archon says, Jack, are you taking into account uh, of your kids using this computer or just exclusively you? Just exclusively me, and I won't uh, I will not, I do not plan on using this computer for anything other than games. That's it. I'm still, I will still have my regular computer, which is functioning adequately for editing for all the other, so this is just for games. For prereq. So, no, my kids will probably not touch my computer. Deliriously, the prisoner says... I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't the one. Oh, no, don't look at me. God. Cows. Cow. Cow. Yeah, you should be able to call. Them. I stubbornly refuse to use my radio. For any reason. It's right here. I'm staring at it. But I cannot use it. What else? Can you put the prisoner in the back of your car? This is, seems like there, I really... don't think there's a back seat. He's just sitting there where he can do anything to me, really. He just, you know, kind of like lean over with his arm and fuck with the gear shift while you I'm search driving. Him? I mean, he's only in his underpants, but did you pat him down? No, I don't think I did. Okay. Oh, no. Let's restore. Because you know what? I huh. probably need to do that. Sure. What? Oh, you're way back That's here. That's fine. We know what to do. Yeah. All right. You're right. Uh, the, I, uh, Colonel Rich Mustard, there are no radio instructions in the instructions. I'm, I'm looking here. There's military time, traffic officer for officer safety. Make sure they have sufficient evidence. Search all, search and handcuff all prisoners. I did not search, so. Okay. Um, use the rating, use the radio sparingly is what this says. Why? I because that's what it says, Rich. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Yes, I know. So that's what the manual says about using the radio. Um, and Scuba Stefano says, "I hope you guys are ready for another good laugh because another Resident Evil movie is coming out." Also, our Josh Colin and that other Canadian guy, gamers. Uh, Josh is not. A gamer. I know uh, Colin plays. Mm -hmm. Colin is a gamer. He has a PlayStation 4, I know. He games. Uh, Jim, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure. I know, I'm not really sure. Not, no, I know, he, I know he, he wanted to be on a stream, but it just didn't work out with timing and whatnot. Sure. But that doesn't necessarily mean he likes games. It just means he wants to hang out, you know. Oh, sure. And even if he likes games, and you know, it doesn't necessarily mean he plays them a lot, but, you know. But I mean, it's great. I'm 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 just happy that Melia is still working, right? God bless Melia Jovovich. That lady is some something pretty to look at. Let her be in whatever movie she wants to be in. Doesn't I think her husband directs those movies? Yeah. So it's like she she's spending time with her family, making schlocky movies. Good for her. Good for her. Oh, by the way. Yes. I solved this puzzle completely by accident, thanks to point and click. Yeah? Yeah. I was trying to wave the keys in front of him, like near him. Right. Instead, the game decided that I was going to throw them in the river, which is a dumb solution anyway. Right. But it's not what I wanted to do. Also, with the clothes, you you were planning on picking up his clothes, but the game told you you were searching them, right? I, was, I would have searched them. Okay. Well, no, 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 leave them on the ground and search. 
is doing this automatically. I can't search him after. Well, but maybe before you put him in the car. <sighs> wait, wait. Maybe before you put him in the car, no. you can search. No, I don't think. I, I'm not taking that chance. Fifth. I loved. I love the Fifth Element. It's been a while since I've seen the Fifth Element. I loved that movie. I hardcore loved that movie. Love, present tense, the fifth element. Oh, the point and click. He won't walk around. He won't walk where he'd want to go. The, God, I hate point and clicks. <laughs> uh, Ryan Vine says, guys, heard of RimWorld? Heard of it. Know very little about it. One of the best survival strategy games I've played in a long time. It's like FTL and Dwarf Fortress had a baby. I think I was thinking of Discworld. So I oh yeah, not D- heard Discworld of it. is the book. Yeah, Rim World. Great little stories come from it. Plus, it's nice and challenging. I will uh, add that to the list. That sounds that sounds fun. What what do I expect to find in that guy's underpants? The shiv he's hiding there that he will stab me with the minute I take him uh, the cuffs off at the the booking place. Absolutely. Put him in jail. Absolutely. <clears throat> I know how this shit works. And then the little cop will come on screen and say, it's important to follow procedures. Yeah. You have to search every <laughs> handcuffed co- uh, and when you go, fuck you. Ah, oh, you fuckers. That's, that's how that's supposed to work. work. That's, 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 that's how the game works, yeah. That's life. Rim, rim world. Rim Boom. job? Huh? Rim job? Yep. Got it. Thank you for the uh, the game suggestion. Butt shiv. Yep, the old butt shiv. One two butt shiveroo. That's well. That is the gameplay. Like that's all the gameplay they had back in the day. Is it's it's basically puzzle solving. See, I wanted to search him. Yeah. What it says is he's already down. Police brutality wasn't part of your training. No, I was trying to search him. I was trying to well, point and click though. I guess you can't. I expect him to do anything right. It's point and click. I'm That's just when you look at him? Pissing everybody off while it's point and clicks, I know. By by being, by exaggerating my frustration mm-hmm. with the point and click. Mm-hmm. My slightly my my a little bit of hyperbole. Yeah. A little bit of hyperbole. It's tough because you know you wanna you want to voice your opinions yeah. and you wanna be a little comedic about it, but you know. Yeah. You know, I'm sure there's already a uh, a, a savage email coming our way about you not giving <laughs> point and clicks a proper. They're gonna play. for here to eternity. They're gonna every point and click game. You have to play this one. This is the one. We demand you play this. We demand you play this. We demand. We demand. This is the one you need to play. I know you yeah. hate RPGs and mm-hmm. vampires. Yep. Here's a vampire RPG, and you have to play it. <laughs> <laughs> what year? What year is this game? Hold on, I have the manual. I have the Manuel. I can tell you what year this. Oh, game is. now I can search him. Mm. No! 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 Because I tried to search him by the riverbank and that didn't work. I might not have thought to do it over here because I already tried. No! No! Point and click? Rich, what year is this? This game? Yeah. There's no, there's no year on the manual. Ninety? 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 One? Okay. Two? Ninety-one, two? Ninety-one, two? Uh, n- you're glad you did search him at the car. Nevertheless, I'm glad I did when I discover a knife he's concealed in his briefs. What did I tell you, Chad? What did I tell you about what was going to happen if I didn't search this man? You were going to get butt shivved. <laughs> I was going to get butt shivved. Now I've now I've just got a handful of shitty butt knife. So I'm like, glad I did that. <laughs> I got this <laughs> shitty butt knife. I need to I need uh, to walk back to the river. Oh my god! You know, people didn't carry around like hand sanitizer in the '90s or disinfectant wipes or anything like that. Now he's just got he's got butt knife. If they invented sanitization gel yet, is that a thing that's happened? <laughs> Like I was talking with someone uh, on Twitter today about about a game, and and they asked if I ever played Persona Four. Do you know Persona? Uh, not very well. 
And and that's uh, he, he's asked if I ever played it, and I said, oh no, I, I didn't. It, it's never looked like something I enjoyed. And and it's he's like he's like well, there's there's monster hunting, um, but there's also like it, it's like a high school anime melodrama mixed with monster hunting. I was oh. like, oh yeah, it's anime about high school kids. So I have to play it. Well, and I said that's that's probably why I've stuck away from it because I don't care about anime high school melodrama. But then he found a way to sell me on it. Oh, okay. He, he was like, no, 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 it's 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 done really pitch perfect. It's you know think about the tone of something like Stranger Things, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That now you're clicking my buttons. Now you're typing me. So you you know what? Sometimes you guys just have to sell it better. Maybe that's your problem. I'm trying again with the radio. Nope. Can't use the radio. Can't use the radio. Nope. 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 Can't use the radio. Nope. All right. All right. That's fine. Brian Forbes. License. Brian Forbes. Brian Forbes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just, My cop instincts just, tell me to run him through the computeronatron. Uh, ooh, nice. Uh, just this guy now says, I don't I don't know about this game. Oh, I need the number. Well, that's... I don't like what's going on. What's going all method when... I don't like what's going all method when Sonny Bonds does to Rich. Yeah, Rich gets a little method with Sonny Bonds. Although it's nice to play an older game for a bit uh, instead of more indie hotness. Yeah, we, we try to... Try to change it up. We've been doing a lot of indie hotness lately. Look, my, my comment about shooting the unarmed man who was lying on the ground with his arms up yeah. was clearly sarcasm. In character. In character. That is something that Sonny Bonds would do. Right. But I thought it was obvious, by the way, I said it, that Rich Evans does not agree with that. <laughs> right. You should say that, clearly. People should know that you don't. Uh, Loner Archon says, Rich, whatever you do, don't play the RPG Xeno Saga. Other than the obvious tropes in other RPGs, the cutscenes are obnoxious, reaching 30 minutes without skipping. Thanks for the heads up. Wow. Whatever. 30 minute cutscenes. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Right. What, what is the procedure now with, with arresting the man? Nope. Let me go get back to the thing. Let me get back to the thing. Arrest the man. Arrest the man now. You want to be in my rap that be video? Sarcasm? Maybe satire? I guess it was satire more than sarcasm. You're doing a character. Maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah. Satire would be a better word for what I was doing. Uh, sure, sure. I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Give me. Uh, give me, guys. Give me some. Give me, give me, give me some. Give me some. Give me some. This thing scrolls like shit. This thing scrolls like shit. Uh, use your weapon in self-defense. Okay, great. Taking evidence. Uh, booking evidence. Booking prisoner. I think you book the prisoner next. Okay. Oh, wait. Physical arrest procedure. Handcuffing. Yeah. All male suspects shall be cuffed with hands behind their backs. All female suspects. Sexist. Su yeah. All female suspects shall be cuffed. Cuffing with hands in front or rear is left to the discretion of the officer. However, due to the increase of assault, the department recommends hands to the rear. I, I, Damn straight, that was my idea. I recommend <laughs> hands to the rear when it comes to females, too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, give them a flum. Give them a flum. So One good I, violation deserves another. Sweet diggity. Uh, I th I, so I think next you go... Taking of evidence, use caution. I think you book next. Okay. Because you've that's I, it. I got his, I ran his name through a license plate. Is there any like what do I do with this thing? Vin, that's for that's for cars. I don't know what form oh, nine hundred is. Uh, do I check? Can I check if he has like warrants? There we go. go what flip. was a form nine hundred? Flip, flip, skip. I don't know, man. That's right, Striker one one two one. Everyone knows what I'm saying. All right. Well, how do we get back to the police station? Oh shit! Westbound on River. I'm just navigating the manual. 
Okay, so you are in the Aspen Falls. Yeah. So west on River and then north on 6th. Some sweet tunes.